皆さんこんにちはレナです今日は名古屋駅に来てますまた外国人にインタビューしてみたいと思いますなので今からここで外国人を探していろいろ質問があるので聞きたいと思いますそれでは行きましょう Thank you for your time and for the interview could you start by telling me your name and where you're from Hi I'm Olivier I'm from I grew up in Cannes, south of France, but I live in Amsterdam. Okay, cool. And you? I am Marie and I, I come from France, mm -hmm. from Paris. Okay, also living in Amsterdam now? Or? Yes. Okay. And what are you doing in Japan? We are on a concert tour. We play in the Concert Reba Orchestra from Amsterdam. And we do two weeks uh, concert touring in, the, in Japan and wow. then Korea. Cool. So how long have you been in Japan? Now it's like a few days. Okay. And where have you been so far? Where have you played? We were we played in um, Kawasaki, just uh -huh. right next to Tokyo. Of yeah. And uh, today we played uh, here in Nagoya. We, we're traveling now to t Kyoto. Tomorrow we play there in Kyoto. Uh -huh. And we have a free day in Kyoto. Then we go back to Tokyo, play in Suntory Hall. You said you had one day, you will have one day free in Kyoto. So yes. every every other day you're just very busy with uh, Yes, we, we're playing every day. We have one day off a week. Basically. Okay. With being so busy with your actual work here, yeah. uh, do you have time to experience anything of Japan? Yes, of course, because we play <laughs> concerts at well, late afternoon or okay. early evening. And, uh, <laughs> Japan by night is pretty good, yeah. I have to say. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> Food scene is mm -hmm. incredible. And, okay. uh, so yeah, we have a lot of time. And, you know, with the jet lag, also we wake up pretty early. I mean, yeah. really inspiring and, uh, yeah. cool. and you know, different somehow. And, uh, mm -hmm. Did you do anything here in Nagoya? No, just, no. just a concert. We arrived okay, just at 12 o'clock today. Oh, okay. We had rehearsal at 12.15 uh -huh. until 1 and then we had concert at 2 and here we are. And then going, going to, to Kyoto. Kyoto. Okay. okay. So uh, in the couple of days before, you said you had some time in the evenings to go yeah. out for the eating and drinking. Yeah. Did you eat anything memorable? Yes, of course. Um, you know the, the, the Japanese barbecue. Or ah, okay. Nice. Ramen and, and I, I forgot the names of these this, uh, noodles. With um, oh, they have a special name. Noodles, uh, udon or soba. Yeah, no, the other one. Yes, this soba. one. Soba. Uh, okay. and yeah. Fascinating restaurant where they have all kind of things and they mm -hmm. just. So yeah. very late and uh, uh, like an izakaya, a bar yeah, basically. Like a bar, Japanese bar, yeah, cool. Very different than what we are used to in the uh, mm -hmm. uh, West Europe, let's say. And yeah, yes. Fascinating. Mm -hmm. How about you? Do you enjoy the Japanese food? Yes, a lot. I'm vegetarian, so sometimes it's a little bit difficult. It's difficult but I try all the side dish. Okay, yeah, <laughs> with, with all lots of uh, vegetables. And there is some ramen with yeah, that meat. Nice. And yes, it's cool. super nice. Still okay. nice. Vegetarian, it's really nice. <laughs> How about the alcohol? Have you tried sake? Yes, of course. Yes, of course. Yes. <laughs> or, or Japanese beer? Yeah, I'm quite hangover right now. Actually. <laughs> <laughs> you were playing hangover? Is that yeah, okay? Yeah, that's okay. Yeah, <laughs> that's yeah. okay. Experience. <laughs> no, it's like, the beer, I find the beer is the best in Japan, actually. Okay, yeah. you enjoy the Japanese yeah. beer. You're making yourself very popular with our viewers right now, I oh, think. Yeah? <laughs> no, no, but and the food is difficult to eat, but... Yeah. Sometimes uh, it's like with the chopsticks and you don't really know how to eat it correctly, oh, but just... I'm sure I'm like misbehaving <laughs> most of the time and forgive my friend. <laughs> they are, they are uh, forgiving. Japanese but, but, people are very forgiving. Was there anything that was a challenge, something difficult? Yes. Yeah. yeah, to order, of course. Yeah. 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 Really mm -hmm. yeah. But we yeah. made it with Google Translate. Translate is yeah. good, right? Yes. Yeah. Have you picked up some Japanese? Yeah, Do you remember something? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Kanpai. <laughs> Kanpai. The most important yes, one. Kanpai. <laughs> Did you remember some Japanese? No. <laughs> I think that's big, like if you're traveling in a big group, it's not as necessary. If you're trying to get a, like by yourself, then yeah, it's exactly. more helpful. But yeah, yeah it's no problem. Cool. Google Translate is great, I think. Yeah. Do you have any interactions with Japanese people? Yes. Yesterday at the hotel um, the lobby, mm -hmm. the, the guy who was like handling the cafe was mm -hmm. very friendly. Mm -hmm. And somehow we. I ended up talking with him and uh, he would join us later at the restaurant where we were. Okay. And um, that guy um, used to live in Australia, so he, his English was very good and yeah. so we could make nice. some contact. And he really wanted to join us in the restaurant and, and, and uh -huh. spend some time with us. Oh, really cool. It was so nice. So then he could 
explain us what to take. And blah, yeah, blah, and, exactly. To have someone and, uh, to order as well. And, it's the seventh time I, I come to Japan and always I, I meet people who are like, they want to spend time with us and like want to show us what's happening and they're interested in, in uh, yeah, and showing the best of their, of their country. <laughs> <laughs> so did you talk about anything in particular that you remember? Like, he's uh, one of these guys who's doing this, um, how do you say, this... Um, this kind of funny robot dance, so he was explaining <laughs> how the scene is uh, okay. quite highly developed here around okay. in, uh, Yokohama and uh -huh. you know, I don't okay. know, this is to work in Japan because he has to do so many hours in a row, uh -huh. and I, but I don't know what I'm talking about. <laughs> one person, so I... No, but I mean, it's probably true that yeah. Japanese people are working very yeah, hard. compared to our yes. musicians, classical musicians. Oh, so that's different, we, we but you practice hours, a lot, right? Yes, we practice yeah. a lot, but we kind of uh, manage our own schedule. And, yeah. And, and it's not like, it's not really uh, hard work because we love that, you know? Yes, I you, think you're lucky. You get an interview that guy. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Really. You want to join <laughs> us? <laughs> well, he has learned some Japanese and he's ah. like, yeah. We can try and go over there and try yes. and see if we can you interview should. him. Okay, so um, thank you for your yeah. time. That was a lot of fun. Yeah. Thanks so much. Thank you. <laughs> Bye. Thank you very much. Can you tell me your name and your, where you're from? My name is Callum Jennings yes. and I'm born and raised in Canada. Okay, and you're currently living in Amsterdam with everyone else for the... the I'm living orchestra. in Bergen, Norway. Okay. And I've traveled to be with the orchestra for this tour. I see, okay. Is it your first time in Japan? No, it's not. How I've many been, times have you been here? I think it's the fifth time. Like usually for work? Or have you also oh, yeah. been here only, privately? Only for, only for work. Tour. Okay, cool. So have you enjoyed your time so far? What have you been doing? Absolutely love it. Yes? The food is fabulous. Tomorrow we're going to Kyoto, so yeah. we get to see some of the nature. Yeah, very much looking forward to it. Oh, cool. Do you have some kind of favorite Japanese food? Well, I got one of those tonkotsu sandwiches in here. Very uh, good. Ramen is fantastic. Yeah, uh, nice. Have you had any memorable interactions with Japanese people? Fantastic people, so generous. Nothing in specific, but uh, almost every person you come in contact with is generous of, of heart and interested in the cultures we're coming from. And. Uh, also very curious to hear our opinions about Japan and often very mm -hmm. surprised when we say how much we love it. We Japanese love it people here. like to hear foreigners say how much they love Japan. Yeah. <laughs> Japan's phenomenal. Amazing culture, such kind people. Have you picked up any Japanese? Hi. Hi. <laughs> it's a good one to know. Konbawa. Yeah. Hajime Mashite. Yes. Biru. <laughs> It's better oh. to have Biru Kudasai. Biru so Kudasai. You, yes. Okay. Thank you so much for your Thank time. You. Thanks. Thanks so much. <laughs> your name and where you're from? My name is Dominic Seldis. Yes. And I live in Amsterdam, but mm -hmm. originally from the UK. Okay. I'm Lena. I'm from Germany, but Hi, I Lena. live here Hi. in Nagoya. Hi. Is it your first time in Japan? Absolutely not. How many times have you no. been here? Oh my goodness, I came here for the first time about 27 years ago. Wow, okay. Yeah. Always for work or also for Always pleasure? for work. I'm a musician okay. yeah. and as you can see in my orchestra behind me. Yes. And um, But it's not always been with this group but I've always mm -hmm. come here for work. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So you basically travel to the different cities in Japan to do Correct. an orchestra in Correct. different locations? Correct. That's exactly it. Yeah. Have you had a, like a favorite place? Well, uh, no. Um, no, I mean, it's all wonderful, actually. I mean, of course, Tokyo, we, we, we've spent more time in Tokyo than anywhere else. Okay. Yes. I feel like I know that better. I've got, mm -hmm. like, my favorite restaurant and stuff in Tokyo. Oh, that's nice. Which is very cool to be able yeah. to say. Yeah, We are on our way now to Kyoto. Yes. We have a day off in Kyoto. I heard so that. Really looking forward to exploring and seeing some of the countryside. Mm -hmm. And um, it's always something new. I mean, when I first came here, it was such a different country. And yeah, 27 now, years ago, 27 it must have been years, so it, different. It was like, a, it really, it was like, I, and whenever we walked around, if you're white and tall and, you know, curly hair, and, <laughs> you know, you were pointed out, and now it's not so no. weird. Yeah. And that's really nice. That's, yeah. that's really nice. And, and um, I do feel very much at home here, even though I have no idea what's going on. <laughs> it's, uh, it feels that's it fine. feels really great. Yeah. Nice. You said you have a favorite restaurant in Tokyo. I do, What yeah. do they serve? What's well, your favorite Well, actually, food there? weirdly enough, before it was my favorite restaurant, it was a sushi restaurant. Okay. And uh, in Roppongi. Mm -hmm. um, but since the last time I was here, I've become vegetarian. Oh. And that's 
really tricky. Yes. I mean, I'm not actually now. I now I eat chicken. Otherwise, basically, I'm not eating. Yeah. So being vegetarian here is like a having a bad disease. Yeah, it's very difficult. Um, and uh, but uh, that was my favorite restaurant. But of course, I now can't go there because I, I'm not eating fish. Yeah, you could so. eat the cucumber rolls. Right, exactly. <laughs> Just cucumber exactly. rolls. But I enjoyed it enormously last night. I see. Okay. Yeah. So maybe it's time for you to find a new favorite restaurant that is absolutely. specialized in vegetarian That's Japanese right. food. That's right. Absolutely. So yeah. I tend to find that on this trip. How about okay. you? Where's your favorite restaurant? Definitely here in Nagoya, but it? it's uh, eel, so you wouldn't be able to eel. eat it. Oh yes, the eel here in Nagoya is fantastic. Oh, well, that's good to know. Yes. You never know, I might make it back to eating meat and fish again. <laughs> Maybe, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, so <laughs> Nagoya eel, definitely yeah. my top recommendation. Great. Have you had any memorable interactions with Japanese people? Absolutely. Uh, you know, first of all, we're here to play classical music. Yeah. And the, uh, we, we play to people who are very passionate about classical music. That's right. So much more so than in Europe, actually. They're, really? they're, they're sort of, dare I say, it's a slightly mad fans here, mm -hmm. and, and they're real followers and real of the orchestra and the people in the orchestra. Mm -hmm. So the interaction is is always very intense okay. and very real, nice. and uh, extremely generous and and uh, always incredibly warm. And uh, they behave very differently here. Of course, it's always very quiet in the halls, and mm -hmm. no phones go polite off. And and incredibly yes, polite, yeah. and, and but once you got used to that, and you realise actually it's a sign of respect. Yes, definitely. That um, it, it's a, it's a really a beautiful thing to uh, play here, mm -hmm. and uh, I always enjoy coming back here and look forward to the next time. When I'm on my way home, I'm always a little bit sad, and, <laughs> and we'll be back again soon. All the 27 years that you have been coming here and you said a lot of things have changed. Yeah. Um, do you remember something in particular? Well, I think in a way it's a little bit sad because it used to be that we would come to Japan and we can pick up things here that were impossible to get in Europe. Ah, so, nowadays And now, yeah. now actually the world is a lot smaller. Yes. And so 27 years ago the internet didn't really exist. And nope. So I used to bring home stuff for the children that they were like, oh my God, that's amazing, you know. <laughs> and now, so you have to look a lot harder to find that stuff. And, uh, you know, Hello Kitty was just like a weird Japanese thing. And now, yes. you know. Now you get it so, everywhere. And I'm traveling this time with my daughter oh, as well. Nice. And uh, she, we're going on to Korea, and she's a yes. mad K-pop fan. Okay. And, so, mm -hmm. and also J-pop, and you know, so all of these things, the world has got a lot smaller. And, mm -hmm. But th there's also some, there's still something very special about the atmosphere here that you cannot get and, and of course the food is, yeah. is the winner every time the food is incredible and the amount of possibilities of eating well I always go home about 10 kilos heavier than, uh, <laughs> than, uh, than when I started. Since you are a musician, yeah. what do you think about Japanese music? Especially also like things like J-pop that you mentioned yeah. earlier, or Visual K, or all of those other things. Yeah, I mean with regards to Japanese music, I'm embarrassed to say that I don't know a lot about it. Okay. It's, it's one of these things that in my next life I will study <laughs> uh, you know, Asian music uh, a lot more. I can recognize it and there are many fantastic Japanese Western classical musicians, if you see. Oh, yeah, me. yes, yeah. Um, and many, and fantastic orchestras here, and yes. fabulous musicians. Uh, but as far as the local music, I'm embarrassed to say that I really don't know very much at all. Okay. And, so you're uh, more in, in your bubble, in I'm the orchestra so. bubble, I'm and you know a lot so. about the Japanese part of that, but I'm not the other. I'm afraid so, part. yeah. No, no, I, I think I'm, that's I'm normal. Very, very embarrassed to say. I think it has all gotten easier over time, but is there something you're still struggling with when you come to Japan, something that's difficult? Yeah, my, I'm, I'm 100, <laughs> you know, 1 <laughs> meter 90, and I keep hitting my head. Uh, so apart from that, no, I mean, everything's, everything's fine. So just, I just be careful with your hands. Absolutely, yes, yeah. But, I, but it reminds me that I'm in this wonderful land, so yeah. it's uh, very lucky to be here. Thank you so much for your great, time. That was awesome. Great pleasure, awesome. Lena. Thank that you. That was great. Thank, Thank you. you so much. Thanks. Tell me your name and where you're from, please. Ah, my name is uh, Michiel Jongejan, and I am a public relations manager for the Royal Concertgebouw Orchestra in Amsterdam. Okay, very cool. Is it your first time in Japan? It's actually my fourth time fourth in Japan. Time. Yes. Always for work? Uh, the first time was uh, was on vacation. Okay. A long way back. And yeah. uh, this is now the third time with the orchestra, traveling with the orchestra okay. to Japan. Yeah. So when you first came to Japan, try to remember back to that time. Uh, what was the reason you wanted to come here? 
I've always been fascinated by Japanese culture, mm -hmm. and my uh, now wife and mm -hmm. I decided to, to travel to uh, to Japan at the time uh, in the summer because we wanted to see something completely different, something we had not known or seen before. And we traveled in the summer. What I can vividly remember <laughs> is how hot. hot and humid it was. Yes. At first, we thought well, it's, it's it's beautiful that all these temples and gardens are so quiet. And why is that? And then well, after no one 15 can, minutes, we yes, were sweating exactly. like crazy. And we understood. <laughs> yeah. Do you eat anything, any food that you really like? Japanese food? Oh, I'm a absolute foodie, and I love everything. Okay, I haven't nice. haven't tasted anything here that I didn't like. Really? Yeah. Nice. Yeah. yeah. You work for an orchestra. Um, I'm assuming you know a lot about classical music, but do you know anything about like Japanese music, J-pop or Visual K or those kind of things? Um, I'm afraid not. I know a little bit about the traditional art forms. Okay. Uh, because we've also uh, seen some of those art forms presented in uh, in the Netherlands. Okay. Such like as Shami Kabuki Sen and uh, Note, yeah, oh, and Bunraku nice. with uh, with the puppets. Oh, cool! I think it's fantastic. Uh -huh. and, and no theater. I think this, that's. Um, I think the the level of devotion and dedication from from. Mm -hmm. From the people who were on stage was was very very touching actually to yeah? see. Yeah. Okay, cool. And they came to uh, the they Netherlands. They came to the to Netherlands. Play play. Yes, okay, yes. We have an, cool. there's an annual festival in Amsterdam. It's called the Holland Festival. Mm -hmm. Sometimes they invite uh, they invite people, and the Royal Concert for Orchestra also regularly plays within uh, within that festival. So that's oh, uh, yeah. That's so cool. Yeah, so sometimes uh, that can be a window to the world. Yes, mm -hmm. definitely. Especially like No and Kabuki and those things are not that yes. easy to experience even if you live in Japan, no. so that's very I've, cool. I've even experienced a, um, a virtual reality pop star from Japan. I forgot ah. the name, but it was spectacular. It was set in a theater mm -hmm. uh, in Amsterdam, and it was, uh, yeah, it, was, it was completely virtual reality. So the pop star um, obviously was, wasn't there physically, yeah. but it felt like a live performance. Yeah. And of course, that, that, I think that was about eight years or so ago yeah. and now you see that's much more common with virtual mm -hmm. reality and all the yeah, yeah, augmented yeah, yeah. reality uh, yes. stuff that's going on. Well, during Korea an earthquake here in Japan? I have actually. The last time I, we were here <laughs> in 2019 I had a huge jet lag so I couldn't sleep. And then all of a sudden I remembered waking up uh, or, or lying in my bed in, in uh, Tokyo and it felt like I was living in a, uh, uh, lying in a water bed because uh, it was like sort of <laughs> moving. But it was quite subtle. It's okay. n nothing, nothing too serious, fortunately. Yeah, but it's still scary, right? It's very, yeah, because especially in, in the Netherlands, we don't get these these earthquakes. So it's a phenomenon that we are not used to. Thank, Thank you, you so much. Bye, viewers. Have a great trip. Thank you Thank Bye. You so much for your Bye. Bye. ということで、今日はあのオーケストラの皆さんにインタビューができましたすごい面白い話もいろいろ聞けてよかったですね皆さんはどうでしたか特に面白かった話とかはあのコメントで教えてくださいねこの動画が面白かったならいいねボタン押してくださいねチャンネル登録もよろしくお願いしますそれではまた次の動画でも会いましょうバイバーイ